Welcome to Unity of Ukaipa. I am Reverend Deanna. I want to talk today about something that's actually a really powerful tool to know about when we walk the spiritual path or any path that we walk. This is a very powerful tool and it's known as course correcting. I first heard about course correcting from a comedian named C.W. Metcalf. He wrote a really fun book and back in the early 90s and he talked about Course correcting is what a pilot does when he flies a plane. That when a plane takes off from point A and is headed toward its destination, there are many things that will throw this plane off course. The weather, turbulence, air pockets of, you know, hot air or cold air, maybe a hurricane. I mean, who knows? There's all kinds of stuff going on up there, way up there, we don't know about. And it throws the plane off course. So the pilot is basically just steering the plane back on course. So it gets from point A to its destination with no problem. It seems to get there with no problem, but we really know somebody was putting a lot of effort into keeping that plane on its path. So course correcting is what we want to do when we walk the path. And there's this idea, especially in spiritual circles, that if you're struggling, it means you're not doing a very good job of walking the path. Right? You're not focused enough on spiritual things. But you know, even Ernest Holmes conceded that life is not always a bed of roses. However, we do have to be the one to pull the thorn out and get focused back on the rose. Right? So we're a spiritual being having a human experience. And sometimes being in a body is hard. It is just hard sometimes. Now when we course correct, we pull the thorn out and we get refocused on the flower. Even St. Paul said, I do not do the things I want to do. Instead, I do the things I don't want to do. That is what I do. I don't know why I do what I do. Even St. Paul, who had this amazing spiritual experience, still struggled, still struggled on his path too. And he had to keep bringing his focus back to God, to God within, to the destination, to your goal, whatever you want to call it. Now, years ago, I had somebody who I, I de deeply trusted tell me they were really disappointed in me because I was struggling. And at first I felt a lot of shame over this. I thought, wow, I am a huge failure. I am not doing this right. It took me a long time to get over that and realize that like the plane, there's turbulence. Okay, there's weird weather we don't anticipate. This happens in our lives because again, it can be hard to be in a body the physical experience can be hard. We're going to have things come up and throw us off course. We will be betrayed. We will sustain injury. Something will come up that will throw us off course. But we pull the thorn out and we get refocused on that that works within us, through us, for us, as us. That power within that knows what to do, how to do it, and it compels us to act on what it knows. We get back on course. We just do it again and again and again. And that's actually really empowering. That is so empowering because we are using the power of our choices to choose to honor our divinity, to choose to make, to take actions that honor our divine nature. That makes us more powerful. Okay, we're not disappointing. We're learning and we're growing. So until next time, remember that you are the divine creation of a loving creator. You are designed to reach through and over and around the obstacles. God, love, light, whatever you want to call it, it is bigger than anything in its way. And we just put our focus back on the rose.
pull out the thorn, focus back on the rose. See you later.